Good day, good day. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a little um, pour today. Hopefully it's a quick one for you. I'm working on this uh, deep edge canvas and it's an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, so I presume that's inches, wouldn't that be? So I have got it on my on my Montmartre banding wheel. It's a pottery banding wheel. I'm not even sure whether I'm going to spin it. But I added this little um, lollipop stick or, you know, stick to, in case I do want to spin it. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. But it's a nice deep edge canvas. I'm not going to actually stick it on there. Um, so I'm just hope for the best that it doesn't fly off. What I've done is I've mixed these paints up this morning and they are, okay, here we go. They are the, oh, the one is, I've only used one colour shift. Um, I'll show you these first. These are, I've mixed with the Folk Art Metallic Paints, Folk Art Metallic Paints. And I've actually mixed them with, um, this is another test. I've mixed them with the Montmartre acrylic flow medium. So I've just put a bit of the probably 50-50 just until I got the right consistency. I've used the acrylic flow medium mostly in them. And then I just put a little dribble of the gloss medium just to see if they dry nice and glossy. So it, it is a test because I haven't used these particular flow medium with these particular paints before so it's a test so I've used the um, the red silver uh, metallic pearl white and I used the lovely metallic metallic amethyst is this one's glistening oh but another thing I've used one of the colour shift paints in this lovely green flash green flash and then what I did with all of the paints I added a dribble just a dribble in each one of the dragonfly glaze because it gives this lovely altered colour effect so it's just a test it may uh, come out splendid and it may not so I was just debating do I do a flip cup do I do a um, just a straight a pour with each color and so on and so forth but I will what was I going to show you that one I must have put a bit of the color shift paint the folk art color shift paint I think I put a little bit of that in the red so it's just a test now this was pre-mix oh that is my just my glue mix glue and water mix so i'm not sure whether this will work with this on the bottom but we'll give it a go and so i hope there's no big messy things in here see this is quite runny probably probably not the go but you know I'll just give it a try. Let's see what we get out of this. Not sure now. I think I'm going to do a little cup, a small cup pour in it. I'll just use one of my little uh, cups. Just put it there. It's probably a bit precarious there. So I'll put the white on the bottom. Put the white. And then I will go with the red. Oh no, because it will turn pink. So I'll go with silver on the bottom. Bit of silver. Now I'll add the red. I can see the colour shift. Um, the, the dragonfly glaze just glistening in there. It's like little diamonds shining. Very pretty. And this was the green in the colour shift paint, the green flash. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if these particular paints, how well they do with the Montmartre pouring medium that i just shown to you. So, go back to the silver. 
Now I might add a bit of the black. I've got the black and it's I'll put the um, dragonfly glaze in it and it's just glistening. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oops, a days. Okay, back to the little bit of this gorgeous amethyst colour again. And then I will take it over to the white. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Let's see how we do with these. So it's interesting to try new product, new products and see how they perform. So I'm just going to do a little flip right in the middle. So all of these paints you can get in Australia, you can get them from the um, Capriol Shabby Chic and the link is below. And in the US and elsewhere, I'm told they're pretty easily available elsewhere so let's whoop, just leave that well I'm gonna use my my big mama call it my big mama heat what it's a heat one just the same just gonna get rid of the air bubbles in that oh some nice little things happening there I don't know whether to do a flip and lip or just play it by ear I suppose let's pour some more white around the edges so I haven't got to sort of stretch it out too far hopefully yeah oh, got some I can wash my container out after this because I keep getting boogers 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 nasty little things in the so my container needs a real good clean out goodness this what was it called this one the 654 metallic amethyst it is glistening well so are all of them and I believe that that is down to adding that little bit of dragonfly glaze in each one this particular one I chose to go in there was um, color changing top coat okay so dragonfly glaze but yeah i just put one spot in each paint and i can see it already glistening i don't know whether to tilt it or spin it shall i give it a little spin and see how we go oh too scared now <laughs> it's making these like dragon dragon scales Give it a bit of a heat, I suppose. Wow. My goodness. It is really glistening. I'm not sure if you're getting this, but it is a beauty. Spinny, spinny. <gasps> I don't mind having that bit of negative space up there. So let's give it a bit, probably cover myself in it. It's always handy to have one of these little banding wheels. Um, I got mine from the Capriol Shabby Chic online. Oh, they're not really expensive and they're ideal for doing this kind of thing. I have, I have a few other kind of... Um, Lazy Susans, bigger ones. I'm kind of just going around the edges with my finger, just finger popping the edges. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I don't want to really do much more with that. I just love that, how, how that is. That is 
splendid if that dries with all that sparkle and then I'll put a clear coat what I was what I've done is I mixed up the two coat resin and I added just a drop of the dragonfly glaze in the resin and it was really super duper really super so I don't really want to do much more with that I don't know whether to pour this little bit of th through the should I should I oh let me go let me go okay oh gosh that's gorgeous it's just shimmering like you would not believe look at that wow I'm loving it that is a beauty really is there's no silicone in it it's really shimmering and I think that sometimes less is best isn't it <laughs> I'm not going to touch it with the balloon I can absolutely assure you I will not touch this with the balloon I'm just a bit concerned if how this white paint because it was just the um, paint mixed up with glue whether it will react with this kind of paint but I just really love that so I'll just give it a bit of a heat burst any bubbles there you go beautiful actually it is beautiful I'm going to try the last bits that I've got left with a little bit of Floetrol on the top that I have mixed pre-mixed here so the last little bits that I've got left I will move on to one with Floetrol on top so I'll have to remember to upload the videos so you see this one first and the other one next I love it I'm really pleased with that I hope you like it tell me what you think something again different as I'm telling you all the time I'm really trying to keep different ideas whether they work or not I'm showing you because then it will save you from uh, making the mistake you're letting me make them so um, or you may be able to help me out but I really like that and it is really glistening so I hopefully when it's dry I can show you when it's dry then I'll put, I will put the resin over this one with the dragonfly glaze in the resin so it really sparkles I did get I'll just show you the results I got from the little one I did I did some this was just an I've got the video I'll link the video to this it was just such an easy little bloom and lacing it was not none of all the different products but um, if you can see I added the dragonfly glaze and the color shift paints and it just just sparkles and this has got a coat of the resin to to coat the glass resin and I put the little bit of the uh, dragonfly glaze in the resin so it's made even the white is just sparkling it's really catching the light and sparkly so yeah I'll, I'll do that one with that one okie doke and I will link that particular video to this oh yeah look at that let's even get any closer see all of that kind of lacing and scales came up without me really doing anything to it it has got no um silicone in it unless i don't think those particular paints have but really happy with that one so let me know what you think thank you for joining me thanks so much if you haven't subscribed please do so oh joke for the day oh my goodness um what was the one the lady told me just let me think let me think I think I've taken a photograph of it on my phone like a screenshot of the joke so sorry I just I can't remember all of them so you guys are sending me some great jokes and that's wonderful <laughs> so I just go with it and dad jokes that's what we're called so so dad jokes oh my god um oh i guess some of these that people send it me um 
I can't I can't say on air because I'll probably get banned off YouTube. So they're funny, but they're they're a bit risque. So okay, what's Dracula's favourite type of coffee? Decoffinated. Oh gosh. Today I got a job working in an elevator. So you can guess what the next one is. Yeah. Today I got a job working in an ele elevator. It has its ups and downs. Okay, I roll for the day. Thanks so much for joining me. I had fun with this little one and I hope you enjoyed it too. Bye for now.